Stephen Fulton versus Daniel Roman. Love this matchup. Love, love, love this matchup. Not only does it give you the public demand of this fight, the, the boxing fans were demanding a type of fight like this at 122 on top of the action we've already gotten at 122. Love this division. On top of that, you have entertainment value with this fight. Should be an entertaining fight. It actually lines itself up, in my opinion, for a another close decision type of fight that we saw between Fulton and Figueroa in the last fight. On top of that, pound for pound implications because Stephen Fulton is eyeing your pound for pound list. He's right there on the fringe, top 10 at the bottom, right on the outside of it. So he wants to um, join the party of guys making uh, claims for being at the bottom part of the top 10 pound for pound. You've had a lot of guys make the that claim in the past few months with, with great performances and Fulton wants to join that party. So a lot of implications here. 122 is a fun division. You had, a couple of years ago, you had Roman versus Akhmedeliev, who I love. Akhmedeliev can fight. MJ Akhmedeliev is a guy who either one or two in the division, who depending on who you talk to, some people feel Fulton, some people feel Akhmedeliev, but there seems to be this collision course that's been brewing, possible collision course between Fulton and Akhmedeliev. Akhmedeliev beats Roman, Fulton beats Figueroa, the three and number three and number four guys in the division, if you look at the top four. And now Fulton is going to fight the number four guy, Roman. Akhmedeliev is going to fight Ronnie Rios later on in the year. So it all sets up for undisputed. The implications of this is Fulton now has the WBO and WBC. That's what this fight is for. Akhmedeliev has the other two straps. The winner of this fight puts themselves in position to fight for undisputed, possibly late this year, early next year, if they do it in the next fight. If Akhmedeliev gets past Ronnie Rios, which I fully expect him to do later on this month. Um, Roman lost a close decision to Akhmedeliev, and that's the only loss he suffered in the past decade, I think. And there's no shame in that loss. And there's no shame in how he lost that fight. It was a close decision loss. The, the impressive thing about um, Roman to me is how... Even though he lost that fight, he averages over 70 punches per round thrown. And in that fight, he was close to his average. He, he still threw over 60 punches per round against a power puncher like Akhmedeliev who can punch. He can punch. That guy's got one punch power or he can stop you um, through accumulation punches as well. Good combination puncher. So although he was landing shots on Roman, Akhmedeliev was, Roman was still throwing still throwing at a high output, threw over 700 punches, threw over 60 punches per round. And I expect the same thing here from Fulton, uh, with, against Fulton. I think he's going to throw a lot of punches against Fulton, much like Figueroa had success in that. Figueroa threw over a thousand punches in that fight, was the active fighter and kept that fight close through his activity. He wasn't landing with all those shots, but he kept the pressure on Fulton. And that brings me to Fulton. The impressive thing to me about Fulton is even with that activity from Figueroa, constant activity from a bigger, um, a bigger pressure fighter, he was still able to throw close to 70 punches per round himself. He threw over 700 punches in that round. So he, he, was, he was keeping somewhat of a pace with Figueroa, although he was outpunched. He was throwing at a much higher percentage and landing the, the, the bigger, uh, more consistent shots was landing at a higher percentage. So the judges had to choose between Figueroa's activity or Fulton's better overall boxing ability and higher percentage of power, uh, of shots landed. And they went with Fulton. And I think the judges will have to come to somewhat of a same decision in this fight. Because I think in this fight, although Fulton, a master class boxer, one of the best pure boxers in the sport, um, he does everything well. J just no glaring weaknesses from this guy. The only thing that you can see as a weakness is he doesn't have much punching power. Like his KO percentage is low. So that's the only thing. And that's why Vegas has pretty much priced this, this fight in to be a decision type of fight. If you look at the over-under, it's priced at 10.5. And, and there's no value in betting the over if you look at the line. 
So Vegas is basically saying that this is going to go to a decision. It's going to the scorecards. So that's why I think there's value and why I say Roman is undervalued is he's plus 700 to win by decision. So I'm going to take a flyer out. I'm going to put some a little bit of money down that I'm not um, going to lose sleep over, over if I lose on Roman at plus 700 because I think there's a lot of value there in decision. If Roman's going to win, it's going to be by decision. And he's going to win by decision if um, the activity is enough to, to, to sway rounds his way. And that's why I say Figueroa and Roman are different type of fighters. But at the same time, this could end up playing out the same way in that what will the judges decide? Will they decide on Roman's activity or will they decide on Fulton's um, overall boxing ability and overall higher percentage more consistency of land punches landed in the fight because I think it's going to play out that way. Although Fulton is going to give Roman different angles to look at, Fulton can fight off the back foot, can fight off the front foot, can work off the jab, can use lateral movement, all that stuff. So Roman is, has a slippery target to try to land on, but I don't think that's going to stop Roman from throwing. So there may be rounds in which Fulton's percentage of punches landed might be lower that the judges go towards Roman. And if this ends up into a fight where it's 7-5-ish and there are some swing rounds, I wouldn't be surprised to see a split decision victory from Roman here. I'm picking Fulton to win by decision. I just think that I've been saying it for a while. I think Fulton versus Akhmedeliev are on a collision course at 122 for Undisputed. Um, I'm high on Fulton and his boxing ability. But Roman is very much a live dog. I think he's undervalued at plus 450. I don't think Vegas is pricing him right. I think he's definitely undervalued at plus 700 decision. Um, so I'm, I'm going to take out a little bit of money to put on Roman at plus 700 decision. But if I'm looking at this thing without Vegas odds, just who's going to win the fight, I got to go with Fulton by decision because I think he just brings more to the table, more versatile fighter. And I think the boxing gods <laughs> have Fulton versus Akhmedeliev in the future. I think those guys are going to head off for Undisputed at 122. But Roman is very much a live dog. And if Fulton beats Figueroa and Roman back to back, I think you got to give him consideration for somewhere between nine and 10 pound for pound. And then if he follows that up by beating Akhmedeliev later this year, early next year, and becomes undisputed at 122, he's putting together one of the best runs in boxing. So, but Roman, his only loss as of recent is to Akhmedeliev. No shame in that. And he may be undervalued here. So I'm taking out a little bit of money on Roman plus 700 decision, but I think Fulton ultimately wins the fight based off of his overall boxing ability. I'm out, man. God bless. Peace.